Okay, this is um, fifth grade lesson 91, and this one is called Simplifying Improper Fractions. Okay, now do you remember what an improper fraction is? It's where like it's six over one or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, six. Let's just change the one but just because um, yeah. that makes the six whole. So the top, the numerator is bigger than the bottom, right? The denominator. denominator. Right. Very good. That's an improper fraction. Okay, so. What we're going to learn how to do is to make improper fractions proper and then reduce them. Basically. Okay. Okay? And so that's called simplifying improper fractions. All right? Now, let's say we had a box of pizza and another box of pizza. This one had this much left in it. <laughs> okay? And this one had this much left in it. Okay? So this one has how many? How much left in it? Um, three fourths. Uh huh. And this one? Three fourths. Okay. So let's add up and see how much we have a total slices of. Okay. So what would I do to get this answer? Six fourths. Very good. So what did I do? You, your numerator. Yes, I added my numerator. Three plus three is six, which were broken into fours, right? So we have six fourths, which again, this is a improper fraction. So, how do I make it proper? Do you remember? It could be just one whole. Yes. Because six plus, like, the left the left are three, and then, so three plus three would be six, and then the numerator is also six, so it would be six over six, which would make it No, 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 whole. no, no, no. Slices are four, regardless. You only add the numerator. Oh. Okay, so the answer is six. So, which are sliced into four sections. Yes. And we have six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's figure out how many total we have. Okay, if we did it the illustrative way, I'm going to take one from here and bring it over here. It could be one. So what do I have? One, one whole, whole and two fourths. Two fourths, which is really half the pizza. Yeah. If we didn't divide it into fours. See what I'm saying? And we just divided it and into And then if we want to reduce them, it right. could be one and one two, over, over two. two. Very good. One and a half. Very good. So, as you can see, this is one and two fourths, which is really one and a half. That's the illustrative way. Now, let's take and do not the illustrative way. Let's do six over four. Okay, let's do it the mathematical way. How do I get that into a proper fraction or a mixed number? What do you mean? Six fourths. Oh, we could do four fourths and five fourths. Okay. We could do four fourths, and so what would we have left? We would have two fourths. Yeah. Okay, so if I take four fourths from here, which we know is really one whole. Yeah. Okay, so how many are left at the top then if I took four of them away? Uh, it'd be two, right? Two fourths, right? So this would be two fourths. So I have one whole and two fourths, and then when we reduced it, it'd be one and a half, right? Okay. Now there's actually a mathematical way, which you kind of did it just in um, common sense way, which is really good. Okay. But what I want you to see is if this said six fourths, this actually says six divided by four. Mm -hmm. Six divided by four. So that's what we're going to do. Six divided by four. Four will go into six how many times? One whole, one times four is four. Subtract, you get two left over. Bring it up. Slide my four over. It's one and two fourths. And then which, reduce which reduces one to half. one and a half. So no matter how we do it, if we use the common sense way, the illustrative way, or the mathematical way, we still get one and a half. Do you get that? Yeah. Okay, but this is the mathematical way, and that's what I want to get you to learn how to do. You got it? So how much pizza do we have left? And we have one and a half. We have one and a half pizza left, right? Very good. Okay, now, there, here's what the equation says. Write eight sixths as a reduced mixed number. Okay, what's reduced mean? Bring it to the lowest amount of slices. Yeah. Mixed number means? Um, like one whole and then eight. Yes, okay. So it's a like a number, fraction and a number. And a whole number. A fraction and a whole number. Okay, so let's do this the mathematical way. It's wrong because it's an improper fraction, because too much is on top, okay? So I need to change it, fix it. So how, am I, how do I do that? 
Um, do it mathematically. We'd have to divide, wouldn't we? Uh-huh. Eight divided by six. Eight divided by six. So then, uh, we could, it goes into that one time. And then that would be six, seven, eight, two. Two. So then that's my um, that's remainder. That's it. would be two and a half. Two and six. Six. Yeah. And what will that reduce to? That will reduce to... What number will go into both two and six? Two. Two will. So two will go into two how many times? Two. Two. Oh, two and two go into two one time. One time. Okay. And two, I mean six divided by two would be? Um, six divided by two. That's uh, 12. No, that's, that's uh, multiplication. Um, yeah. Two times what equals six? Two times... Three. Very good. So six divided by two is three. It's so one third. It's really one and one third. Okay, because we have the one whole. And then and you then put the little dash in between, six, them. which okay. reduces to one and one third. You get that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's what you're learning how to do today. Now, I took this eight six and I converted it into a mixed number. Mm -hmm. Then I reduced it. So I took this number and converted it first, and then I reduced it, right? But did you know what? You could reduce it first and then convert it. Watch. I'm going to reduce these two numbers to start off with, okay? So what number will go both into 8 and 6? Um... Two, I know will, two. but I think it no, get higher. No, two works. Okay? okay. Eight divided by two is? Eight divided by two, that means two, what goes into, wait. Eight divided by two. Oh, that'd be four. Very good. Six divided by two. Uh, three. Very good. Okay. Will a number go into both four and three? Yes. What? Two, right? Two wait, will go into three. Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? Will this reduce any more? Oh, no. Okay, so we reduced first this time. Now let's convert. 4 divided by 3. 4 divided by 3. Remember, that's what that says. 4 divided by 3. So then 3 will go into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract. Bring it up. I still get the same answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whether you want to convert it first and then reduce it, or reduce it first and then convert it, doesn't matter. I actually like to reduce, or I like to convert first and then reduce. Okay. That's just my favorite way to do mm -hmm. it. Okay? So, it doesn't matter how you do it, you can choose. Okay? okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm kind of moving a little fast. I'll, I'll try to slow down for a minute. Okay? It says to add 1 and 7 eighths plus 1 and 3 eighths. Okay? So help me out here. What do you add on the fraction side? What do you mean? How, how do I perform the fraction part of this? How do I oh, add Oh, you just this? do the numerators. Okay, so let's do that. 7 plus 3. Uh, 8, 9, 10. 10. And what do I put on the bottom? 8. Okay. 1 plus 1. 2. 2. Okay. Now, this is our answer, but is it completely simplified? Um, no. No, what's the problem? Fraction. There's an improper fraction. Good job seeing that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to move this away for just a minute. I don't want to forget that I have my 2 here, though. Okay. Okay, so um, let's take this 10 eighths, and how am I going to make it into a proper fraction? You'd um, divide it, right? Okay. 10 divided by 8. Very good. 10 divided by 8. 8 will go into 10. Um, one, time. one time. Eight times one is eight. Subtract that, I get two. Bring that up. Slide that over. One and two eighths. Okay, so don't forget I have this two here. Okay. So I have two whole plus this one and two eighths. Yes. So tell me what my answer is so far by doing something with this and this. Uh, Remember, because I'm just three and two eighths. Eight. Three and two eighths. Now, is that the final answer? No. Okay, what else do I need to do? We can still reduce a little we bit. We can more. reduce. Very good. You realize that. What number will go into both 2 and 8 to reduce it? 2. 2. Let's do that. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 
four. All right, so should I forget about this three? No. No, I don't want to do that. Three and one fourth is our final answer. Okay. Okay. Good job. So we don't reduce the whole number? What do you do mean? we never reduce that? No, whole numbers don't reduce. Okay. No. Good job. All right, and that is lesson 91.